Welcome to lesson four of module two of the 3P interview success system. This lesson is going to be talking about the no-nos, the things that you absolutely must not do at a job interview. So in the other lessons, we've been talking about how you should prepare for an interview, what you need to do to show up, how you need to answer your interview questions. Now I'm going to cover some of the things that you should be wary of and make sure that you absolutely do not do during the interview. So let's jump in. Don't use too much industry jargon. As tempting as this might seem, you might be very experienced and you want to show up that you know all of these big words. Now is not the time. You just come across as looking very show-offy and nobody wants to work with a Miss Know-It-All, Mr. Smarty Pants. Just keep it simple. Use language and terminology that everybody can understand. You don't know who else is in the interview panel. They might not be as technical as you are and you don't want to lose them while they're wondering, okay, what does that mean? So keep it simple and tone down the terminology and the big words that you choose to use. Never, ever, ever, ever badmouth your former boss or company. Why? Because it just shows the kind of person that you are. So it doesn't matter if they treated you unfairly, you were fired, you know, unfairly, whatever it was, it doesn't matter. Do not badmouth a former boss or a company. People see it as a reflection of who you are and they will start to wonder, oh, if we hired him or her, then is this the same way they're going to speak about us? And that the company or the former boss is not here to defend themselves anyway. So just don't do it. It, do it doesn't look good at all. Don't get carried away and start sharing personal information. Well, it's as simple as that. Just keep it professional. Answer the questions as simply as you can. And don't, don't start trying to get true friendly or reveal personal stuff. It's not worth it. Don't talk about your family, divorce, health issues, work-life balance issues, any issues at all. Don't talk about it. No one wants a complainer. It's just a dampener on the whole interview. Everyone wants to hire someone who's happy with life, whether it's real or not, but you come across like you're optimistic, you know, you have everything going for you. No one wants someone who's just going to come and complain and talk about, oh, my family is this, or oh, I have this health issue. It just shows that you're a victim and comes across as very, very negative. So keep your conversations extremely professional and don't talk about your personal issues. Don't eat or chew gum. That's a given. Chewing just comes across as too laid back. And this is an interview. There's no, yes, you might want to keep your breath fresh. Have a mint before you walk in, but make sure that by the time you walk in, you're done with that. The only thing you're allowed to do is have a bottle of water to be able to have a sip, take a sip if your throat gets a bit dry. But whatever you do, no eating or chewing allowed at all. Don't leave your mobile phone on. It's just very distracting when it rings out. And people are wondering, okay, are you going to take that? Are you like, it just makes you look irresponsible. So switch off your phone or put it on silent. Even vibrate is, these days the phones are so noisy. So even when you put it to vibrate, it still makes a lot of noise and it's very distracting. So just put it off. It's only a few minutes. Just put it off. So those are just a few tips and pointers on things that you absolutely, absolutely should not do when you show up at your job interview. So that brings us to the end of module two. And next, we'll be moving on to module three, the postscript.